In the previous section, we saw how we can create requisable quotation and send it to our vendor, and how we can manage purchase agreement and controlling vendor bills. This section number four, warehouse management. In this section, we will cover the following points, configuring warehouses and locations, receiving products from our vendors, delivering products to our customers, internal transfer, and tracking load or serial numbers. Finally, we will see how we can generate reports, configuring warehouses and locations. In this video, we are going to take a look at creating a warehouse and creating a location. Now, let's move to definitions part. To know the difference between warehouse and location. Warehouse is the actual building or place in which your items are stocked. You can set up multiple warehouses and create moves between warehouses. Location is a specific space within your warehouse. It can be considered as a sublocation of your warehouse, like shelf or floor. Location is a part of one warehouse, and you can't link it to many warehouses. And you can set up multiple locations for one warehouse. First of all, we have to activate storage locations and multiple warehouses from inventory setting. Now let's go to our system. To create a warehouse, you can go to inventory menu, then configuration, then warehouse management. So you will find submenu called warehouses. I will create a new warehouse called new warehouse. You have to enter the name and you have short name like new warehouse. Then save it. If you want to create a location, just you can go to submenu called location, then you can click on create and call it location. Then you can add the parent will be new warehouse. Then you will choose location type. It's a very important part. So you can mark it to be vendor location. Our customer location it will be used for the customer when you receive when you deliver the products to customer or vendors it will be used when you receive products from your vendor and you can mark it to be view for like view warehouses and you can mark it to be inventory loss for scrapped or loss products and it will be production it will be explained later or transit location or procurement locations then I will save it. If you want just create a new location quickly for existing warehouse, you can go to for example stock and you can make duplicate it and just change the name to be stock 2. So now we see how we can create a warehouse and how we can create a location.